Welcome to the Rundown. A recent NAV admin announced the convening of the fiscal year 2019 Selective Early Retirement Boards. In an effort to support a culture of performance and to ensure the Navy has the right officer talent to meet its mission, the SIR boards will identify commanders and captains who are underperforming and select them for early retirement. Chief of Naval Personnel, Vice Admiral Robert Burke, wrote in a Navy Live blog post that he expects the boards will have a positive impact on individual officer communities and the Navy as a whole because they will reinforce the Navy's expectation that senior officers continue to perform at a level comparable to their peers within their pay grade. There are no mandatory quotas for the boards, and selecting zero officers in a given competitive category is an acceptable outcome. For more information, see CMP's Navy Live blog post or read NAVADMIN 193-18. The Navy has announced increased high-year tenure waiver authority for E-7 to E-9 sailors. As part of our Sailor 2025 Up and Stay initiative, we are granting more high-year tenure waivers to Chief, Senior Chief, and Master Chief Petty Officers who are willing to serve at sea or in other hard jobs and continue their naval service. This initiative will help maintain the vital deck plate leadership and technical expertise necessary in manning the Navy the nation needs. Sailors can expect to continue to see improved retention incentives and leadership opportunities as the Navy continues to grow. For more information, see the story on Navy.mil or read NAVADMIN 192-18. The Navy's 21st Century Sailor Office has launched the Keep What You've Earned and Prescription for Discharge Combined Campaign Survey. The survey, sponsored by the Navy's Alcohol and Abuse Prevention and Drug Detection and Deterrence Offices, takes less than 10 minutes to complete and is completely anonymous. This survey helps the Navy improve these instructive behavior prevention campaigns by receiving input directly from you. By becoming more effective, these campaigns will help increase the overall health of the fleet. This year's survey is available at the website below. For more information, see our story on Navy.mil. That's all for this week. Connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube at USM People. You can listen to our collection of Sailor Sailor Podcast at navy.mil slash cmp. For any questions or to sign up for our monthly newsletter, send us a message at usmpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 Tyler Preston. Thanks for watching.